So the Novichok agents are uh, a, a group of agents. We call them fourth generation chemical weapons and they were developed by the Soviet Union in the 1980s. It can be a, a fine powder or a liquid, so because it, it didn't knock them on their feet immediately, uh, it seems that it was some type of uh, contact with their skin that probably was the method of transmission. The government has concluded that it is highly likely that Russia was responsible for the act against Sergei and Yulia Skripal. Sarin and VX are third generation chemical agents. This is a more advanced fourth generation agent and it's more lethal. It's about at least five times more deadly than VX, which is one of the most deadly chemical agents. This is unprecedented. We saw a third generation nerve agent, VX, used last year uh, in an assassination of Kim Jong-un's brother in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, a similar scenario. But this fourth generation so-called Novichok class of agents, we have never seen it used. One other fact about the Novichok agents is that they're not prohibited specifically on a list by the Chemical Weapons Convention. Um, in fact, they were developed by the Soviet military to evade our uh, defenses, our protective suits, our antidotes, and also to, uh, as a way to be able to, to produce them without being covered by the chemical weapons conventions. In a civilian setting, it's extremely difficult to know that a chemical attack has occurred and then to have antidote immediately available, and it has to be applied quickly, and, and that is uh, apparently what did not happen in this case.